different today. We're launching a classic segment of Turn 8 in order to review this beautiful 1996 MGF. MG launched this two-seater F-Series in 1995, and in 1996 they released this version, which has variable valve control, which just means that you get power with every rev. It also boasts a 1.8-litre engine, hydrogas suspension, and rear-wheel drive. The inside of the car is also badged up to all hell. You've got one on the steering wheel, on the dashboard, and the little one there on the dials. Back in the day, the dials themselves were actually octagonal, but somebody obviously decided that that was overkill, and that this is more than enough badges. And there's even one down there. No. Unsurprisingly, this car is very customizable because MG makes a bit of everything. Um, these are not the original seats, uh, these are seats that were bought to match the outside because obviously it's a British racing green car and originally the seats were black um, and these suited much better. I think there's something quintessentially British about the shape of her as well. This is a classic shape for a small sports car. Not just of her era, but every era. Look at her shine. The best thing is, I've never been allowed to drive this car before. And now I am. And it's the best. driving this car, it has some serious pull to it. I mean, when the car first came out, it had 150 brake horsepower, which for, you know, the tiniest car, it weighs nothing. It was a lot of power, and you can still feel that, and you can feel the variable valve control as well. You can feel it working and really allowing you to pull, and the clutch is really low down to the ground. You only have to bring your foot up minimally, and you feel it, it is fierce. The only downside to that is that when you're doing town driving, all she wants to do is gallop. She wants to go and you can't go. Of course, she's lost a lot of her horses in the last 19 years, but she doesn't disappoint. The steering's very, very sensitive. The acceleration obviously is extremely sensitive. It's only the brake that lets it down. The brake is very, very wooden and you have to really fight hard to push down on it, which is surprising for such a small car, you wouldn't expect that. And I just gave you a great example of how this car accelerates. She was desperate to go, and I was trying to edge her out really slowly because that's what I'm used to with my old banger, but no, she just wants to run. As you would expect from a two-seater mid-engine car, there isn't a great deal of boot space, but you can fit in two small dogs. Hello doggies! Hi guys, thanks very much for watching our review of this MGF. If you'd like to visit our website, the address is www.turnate.co.uk and you can find us on Twitter, it's at turnateblog. Obviously, we'd love it if you'd subscribe as well. Until next time, goodbye! Today we're here in, you throw me off. Broadway right. Tower Country Park. I know where we are. Right.